In hospitals, you often hear people talking in jargon. When you visit your treatment centre for a routine checkup, you'll probably have heard your nurses and doctors talk about your PK. But what actually is PK? PK stands for pharmacokinetics. Pharmacokinetics is the study of what happens to a medicine from when it enters the body to it all being used up. In relation to haemophilia, PK shows how long factor lasts in your body after an infusion. But people with haemophilia are all different, and everyone's body handles factor in different ways. Around 10 to 20 minutes after an infusion, your level of factor reaches its highest level, or peak, in your body. From this point, the level of factor in the body starts to fall, as factor is used up. The half-life is the length of time it takes for the level of factor in the body to drop by half. The factor level will continue to fall until reaching its lowest point just before the next infusion is due. This is known as the trough level. It's the point when a person with haemophilia has a higher risk of bleeding. The peaks and the troughs and everything in between form the basis of your PK profile. This information, along with your bleeding history, activity level and lifestyle, will help you and your care team decide on the best treatment plan for you. It'll guide the decision on which dose of factor you need and on which days you should take it to keep your factor levels above the high-risk trough level, therefore preventing bleeds and the damage these can do to joints and muscles. This is what we know as prophylaxis. It's not necessary for you to have an in-depth understanding of all the things that contribute to your PK profile. This is the role of your care team. But it is important to understand why you should keep to your recommended treatment plan to not only prevent bleeds, but to allow you to live a normal life, whatever that might be for you.